Hello? Alright, there we go. Six minutes into the video, and I spent that six minutes trying to figure out why my computer wouldn't turn on. I thought I was talking to you guys the entire time. I'm probably going to cut that out. Anyway, everybody, radio's over here. We are playing After Party. Which you clearly know if I don't take this out. Listen, me not saying nothing for six minutes. Um, we're back here. Oh, wait, no. We're supposed to make the decision of where we're supposed to go. That's why we're here. I remember now. And I'm hungry. Taxi. And she showed up quick. So, all partied out? Normally people are more covered in blood and viscera. But far be it for me to play Adeline. We didn't even get in. We didn't even get in. I'm trying to be There's polite. A the fucking world back there. Oh, we have a plan though. There's some people have invites and some people have uh, have spares. So, so you wanted to get invited to cut the line, yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. Whose tree do you want to shake first? There's a demon in uh, Bobolin Park. He says he needs help catching somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink. We so know it can't just be that, or else it would have already been done. So. Ah, classic case of too many good ideas. It's a three years long. Guess you got some picking to do. This is where we're gonna go. Hell, get an invite from a human named Lindy. Linda. Well, let's try Linda first. Right? I know it sounds too easy, but maybe it is. Oh, I just want on the record that this is a trap, okay? A trap of inconvenience. You're not like crazy fans of Linda, right? Because she's not too big into autographs or meeting people. Why would we be fans? Did she like murder a, a deposed baby king or something? She used to be the lead singer of that witchy witch band, Mercury Worm, back in the 70s. Is she famous? Like, I don't know. Famous, right? Yeah, but just, you know, be, be cool. And don't break up her old band. What happened with her old band? Eh, let's leave the spoilers till your second playthrough. What does that mean? Let's leave all the annoying questions still then, too, okay? Next up, the Laurentalia. All right, here we go. Okay. Hey. Hey. So speaking of Hi. Like, uh, music, <laughs> was any of that stuff about playing records in reverse to hear satanic messages? Was it real? Oh yeah. And not just records. TV shows, commercials. You know, bus stops have those automated recordings. Play them backwards, and you'll hear Satan whispering Chinese nuclear codes. Oh. But Lucifer and rock stars have a real history, it's true. Something about needing to, to scream your ego out into the conjectural void. Is there music in hell, like, different from Earth? Like, has the chronographic and ethnological diversity in a supernatural environment developed unique harmonic genres? No, just like, what kind of fucked up music do demons make? Oh, every song's about one thing, doesn't matter who's making it. Why won't Tina call me back? But music, the creative arts, has always been a thing for thing. Slavery okay. let the self-possessed invent crap like trumpets, and it's hard to really break from that lineage, you know? Anyways, we're almost there. Don't let on that you know Linda. Man, She's kind of embarrassed about her solo like, album, just... Helicopter Fuckhouse. You don't find a CEO of racism. Taxi looked like okay, it could have been on that Fred run Italia. game. Here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, a carrot juice bar just opened up on the other side of town. And, uh, oh, the dirty hurdy gurdies just down the road there. That's where Linda said she wants that drink, right? Yep. Okay, kids, text me if you need a ride. Have fun at music camp. All right, let's see how this goes. Can't be too easy. There's a sudden prediction about it. I could not save. What? Actually, now I'm thinking about it. I have heard. What do you mean? The save operation could not save. We try. I think I have heard of Mercury Worm. 
Yeah, didn't they reinvent themselves in the 80s, becoming some synth monstrosity? I've told you this a hundred thousand times before, but... But it's always been a dream of yours to be in a band. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you remember, uh, but I tried in that one talent show in sixth grade. I played a harpsichord and classical trumpet. Yeah, I think it was a good decision to retire from performing after that. Hey, come on, I... I know an educational jam band isn't to everyone's taste. But educational? I think some of the faculty, or at least Mr. Thompson, liked it. He was nodding his head, at least. Mr. Thompson lost his hearing in Vietnam. Well, it's a beautiful country. It was just so embarrassing. Being up on that stage, getting booed, or, uh... Make friends. But maybe I'm just being melodramatic. Kids are dicks. Milo, kids at that age are just dick bags. That's honestly the fact. Like even heard of metal machine music. I think that was the music teacher that said that, but the point still stands. Alright, we got this. Like, the fact that most kids nowadays are just random. I was just playing Fortnite a second ago, and man, was... I was just, I wouldn't create it with a friend. It was just gonna be me and him, one be wanting each other and create it. Probably invite somebody else. And then, like, a thousand random kids just join out of nowhere making ram random noises, moaning, arguing with each other. And it's like, why did you guys come here to argue with each other? It's so random. Then they all left at this one kid just constantly kept saying, hey, but in, like, weird female. It was, it was, it was strange. I, I didn't know what to say about any of it. I just stayed out of the game chat. And every time you said something to him, he just kept getting louder with it. Damn, I'm not in the mood to text right now. I go those kind of. I hate those kind of right there. Just got invited to play GTA. This is. Are they talking? About, oh yeah, they're talking about this. Or, or first, this is. Okay, I have no idea what they just said. Just, let's just keep going. They talking a demon language. We don't understand that. Man, this game constantly saves. Can we talk? Nope. Okay. Finally, I was like, why? It's a long distance away from over here. She could have took us over here. That poster right there looked like um, a demon version of Pikachu. But let's, can we not go in there? Oh, we gotta keep going. How far is Linda? Don't bring up the band. And I forgot, don't ask for autographs. Chatting in a chicken. You two, you there. The ebony woman and the lemon man. Hail and well met. You... Hail and well met. Hail and ill met. Uh, yeah, hail and well met, my dudes. <laughs> dudes, did you hear that, Longinus? The maiden hath called us dudes. Tis an honor. What the hell? Do you, uh, do you guys need something? That is so kind of you to offer. We would indeed humbly ask for your assistance. Yes, could the eel please pick up the small contraption resting there at my feet? I'm afraid that's our tuner. Hadrian here dropped it. One's hand tends to get sweaty. Oh, much like one's A is most assuredly. What are they talking about? <laughs> that's, a, that's a tuner, and you really need this that bad. One of us needs it that bad. But if you could please hand us the fallen vocal adjuster whenever convenient, uh, we'd be most appreciative. Oh, thank you. Um. Kick tuner into the river. Hand tuner. I think I'm gonna kick it into the river. This the tuner you want? Yes, thank you kindly. Go fetch. No! Well, now Alphalos is going to be off key forever. Oh, you are in hell, so. Oh, damnable thieves, harpies, the lot of you. That's like the fifth person who's not only refused to help us, but has actively made our circumstances worse. 
Ta. I mean, we're in hell, so like, what's the point of being polite? The dirty hurdy gurdy. Well, by the looks of it, they serve a lot of lukewarm salmon. After you? Oh, no, no, no. After you. How do, I'm still wondering, what do we do so bad? These seem like normal people. I mean, Milo, like, if they do pull a shot at Milo, I, per, I think I have an idea what his sin was. No, no, no. Here to the end of the story. Think that lonely looking woman with a haunting stare and perfect cheekbones is. is Linda. Yeah, you could have just said the one with the guitar. Yep, that's <gasps> Linda, alright. Oh, don't be scared. We're just the accursed souls of dead musicians, forever trapped in this shit house of schlock by that wretched virago, Ono Skelis. Oh, uh, who's, uh, personal demon? Ono Skelis, the grand negotiator, the band manager of Haiti, and the fallen angel that owns the bar you're standing in. But if you want to talk to Linda, just take the cute purple mile down to the end. Can't miss her. And be sure to check out our gift shop. Okay. Hey, uh, listen. This is gonna sound weird, but with Linda, can I, like, do all the talking? Why? It's just, I've never gotten to be that guy, you know? Ordering a woman a drink, sliding it across the bar. Hey, if you want to practice your cold calling in bars, be my guest. Just remember why we're here. Awesome. Yeah, no, totally. Eyes on the prize. Okay. Um, look. Wanna get like a hat or something? I already have the song Remains the Same on DVD. Nah, I'm good. I don't think we'd be able to take anything back with us anyway. I hope there's no way you can fail. Like, um, say you made the wrong choices. You stay in hell. Got a bunch of mystics out of nowhere. How do you look? I'm gonna say, oh. Okay, so I'm gonna move my headset. That was weird. I moved my phone up and then moved my headset thing so it's like it got louder for me then it's quiet so it makes me wonder if I'm doing something wrong with my headset I don't know why is this quiet one moment Alright, there we go. Okay, my headset. I'm pretty sure it's louder now. I can't really tell anyway. Let's talk to these witches. Let's see what's popping up over here. Are they real witches? Because I was honestly wondering no, that. the Salem witch trials were actually right. They just killed all the midwives and missed us. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, uh, excuse us. Is anyone here familiar with Linda Landon? Oh, uh, yeah, she's playing here tonight. That's why we're here. What about you? I'm also here for Linda. Oh, no, we're yeah. huge yeah, fans. We're big. big. Fans. Yeah. Some pretty heinous crimes against God and man to see her play tonight. Cool. Yeah, us too. I mean, those babies won't eat themselves, so. Have you um, seen Linda around by chance? Maybe doing pre show autographs? She's hanging out over yonder. Okay, let's not pretend that we but didn't she know what she was. Done an autograph since '96. Yeah, the sharpies down here scream when you use them. Good to know. Uh, okay. Linda, hey, how's it doing? She just staring at herself <clears throat> like a mirror. Said, "Hi, um, are you?" No, I won't take a picture with you or sign your femur. And I'm kind of in the middle of something. Really? Because it looks like you just... This timeline isn't going to refresh itself. Uh, want a drink? I can... Seriously, kids. If you want to chat, the least you can do is get me a margarita. You're not even that famous. Oh, no. Um, alright, let's go get her something to drink, I guess. To the demon that's probably about to call us like a little baby or something. 
Always disrespecting us. Squads and, uh, do you have anything with honey in it? Yeah, we have six drinks that contain wasp urine. Four bomb squads. I'll send them over to your table. Next. I'm We're honestly, fresh out of priest bladder. But what can I get you? Said a mark. He dashed a fox. A dead man's totally a quote favorite. Tender box gen. But she did say a martini. The black death. With the asshole. Our signature. Let's see if I was just did. Okay, you know, let's just get it with the asshole. Margarita sounds good. Excellent choice. Okay. Uh huh. Is that gonna get off the screen? Like we could have got her something else, but like, why show off? Anyway, I don't like the way she acts, so just go and get her what she acts for. You know, something plain. Don't overdo it. Don't need to be an overachiever when you're in hell. Wait, what was the last drink we got her? Linda likes Wolin's margaritas. I'll send over one on the house. Thanks. Why would we get ourselves uh, an own drink? Okay, we could just give her the. Hi, I'm uh, back. Yes, I can see this is happening again. Lucky me. Who is this? Got you a margarita. The menu says it's oddly sweet, just like me. <laughs> sure. Well, the walk there and back earned you at least two minutes. Have a seat. Okay. Didn't she just want a drink? Didn't we Emily just give her Landon, something? Former lead singer of Mercury Worm, current denizen of the Fourth Circle. But judging by your starstruck faces, I'm sure you already knew that. Not that I would yeah. have... I don't care too much if you didn't. <laughs> okay, I'm just about to drink off of that one right there. And, uh, to be perfectly frank, we want to get into Satan's party tonight, and we read your bicker post about your spare invitation. Are you in town for the reunion? Is that why you want to go? What reunion? Oh, Jesus. Okay, some backstory. Mercury Worm was my band, obviously, but we broke up. And in my discerning absence, they added a keyboardist and started collaborating with 15-year-old DJs. The fuckers took a fame rocket ship to Planet Coke and Hookers. But they all just died in a plane crash like a week ago. How romantic, right? But they're the hot new diarrhea, so Satan booked them for his house party tonight. Maybe all the album covers posing with drugged white tigers finally bit him in the ass. What's that how you died? Wait, if they died in the plane crash, and you weren't with the band, up here wait Linda just if you have a spare invite to Satan's party we could really use it see now that's a problem when I split from the band I pledged my eternal soul to Satan for a solo career and it worked for about six months until my 27th birthday when I died parasailing down the Detroit River now part of my infernal contractual hey is to Detroit shows here and once tonight so I can't go and neither can my invitee, since you'd need to, you know, come in with me. They won't let you in without me there, see? Sorry if you came just for that. Well, then why the hell did you say you had a spare ticket if the other person can't use it? Honestly, I just got tired of getting up to go to the bar. Well, ha! Let me, uh, me quarterback this. You said there's a contract, right? Well, shit, people get out of contracts all the time. My Uncle Jeff... Thought he had a prenup. He's living in a van in Reseda now. She took his damn hamster. Guys, look. What if we just we found a loophole or, or a replacement? Come on, give us something here. Oh, it would be nice to be there when Mercury Worm falls on their faces. Okay. If you want to try, you can try. But you gotta deal with Ono, my manager. She owns the bar. She's downstairs right now, probably looking at another undeveloped talent. Good luck. You somehow managed to pull this off. I'll, uh, I'll be here. She isn't gonna... She wouldn't, like, try to steal our souls and make us serve her daiquiris forever down here, would she? Do you have any artistic talent? No. Then no. She won't give a shit. All right, so that's good. she's downstairs, she said? This place is a basement? Looking Surprise. right at the basement. It's also a music venue. They dug a big shithole in here and shot out a stage. As for Ono, you can't miss her. She'll probably be yelling at one of her bedraggled assistants. All right, we can go now. Keep that in mind. Thanks. We'll be back. Okay, Ono. Let's just sweet talk her downstairs and Linda off leash. 
Roger. That's not the downstairs right there? Yeah, I was about to say. Go downstairs. Hey. Here we go. I'm about to check the... Let me check the news feed and see what people are saying about it. Social media... What? The cruise... The cruise for was conspiracy. I still can't tell if hell's always hot or always cold. No. Alright, these are all old. We read these last time. Yo, 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 I'm Baron. And I'm Peyton. And together, we're Black House. And we're here with a new single off our mixtape. Not literally a mixtape, but a thing you can get with a download code if you follow us on Bicker. It's called I Get Mine. Drop the beat. Okay. Is these the people supposed to talk to? Excuse me, sorry, don't mean to interrupt this thing. Excuse me, what is this? Who are you? We're in the middle of an audition. If you can't already tell, and I doubt very much that Black House appreciates the intrusion. Which one of you is? Oh no? Um, yeah. Don't look so shocked. It's not like anyone else down here is worth talking to. Down here as in this basement, or down here as in my hell? Yes. Now, search my scurry and you're in a hurry, so get out. Uh, uh, don't, don't mind him, kids, little Chattanooga choo-choos. Valak couldn't find the right spoon for his cereal this morning, so now he's a little ill-tempered. They don't have an... there's no meeting scheduled. Okay, just hit the pause button, okay? Give us a break here. You'd give a fucking rock a headache. <sighs> Fine. We'll continue this shortly. But house, thank you. I'm Ono Skellis. Some folks call me Ono. That's my auxiliary, Valak. He girds and guards my affairs. I prefer okay. the term executive peon, but... And you are wanting to speak to me about... Buying Girl Scout cookies? Oh my gosh, you look way right worse up close. That? I'm just riffing off your clothes, really. You're missing you you're missing the sash. You need to get Linda out of her contract. Uh, just for the night, but it is a bit of an emergency. I need to let Linda out of her contract? Why do I need to let Linda out of her contract? Speak quickly now. Dodge and Satan. Linda was see. We need I actually want to try to do the out party Satan thing to escape hell. So I need to let Linda out of her contract tonight. So you can drink the night away at Satan's house and try to earn your way back home. And your father's label maker said what on your toy chest? Milo and Lola. Milo and Lola. Valak, how many years left on Linda's term sheet? Roughly 10,000 years. Linda got a discount for time served when she lived in San Antonio that summer. What the hell? Okay, sold. She can have the night off. Yeah. But you'll have to find a loner. Uh, yeah? A replacement act. We can't be understaffed. Sure thing. Wait, are you... What are you looking for? So, yes. what are you looking for? Mime? Clown? I know how to skate. <laughs> Clown? It's music. Just find a musician. And don't just go and get any waterlogged corpse that's not at home watching TV, Okay. No, definitely not these. It'll be, uh, top shelf. I should... I'll cryptically add this. Think about the risk here, potentially, before you zip off to Never Never Land and fetch some Sarcoline crooner. What risk? You're like a talking the fly. The being ever said was property. I should know. I was there at it. I've bought souls for a baby's breath, and I've bought souls for a ham sandwich. The only difference was the stuff they thought they were getting in return. And for someone like Linda, who's so dog-shaking desperate to get out of a contract, that she'd send two souls who ain't been dead not 17 minutes to bargain with me? Well, I think the plan deserves scrutiny is all. Maybe check it for ticks before you scamper off on the songbird's behalf. Don't let her sell you out, kids. I see bad contracts signed every day. Well, what the fuck did she mean by that? I only understood like half the damn words. Sarkaline crooner? Uh, I think she's saying that Linda could stab us in the back or something. Maybe, like, trick us into switching places with her. No, she wouldn't do that, right? You don't know what Linda Landon is capable of, children. But don't lose your concentration. Now, 
Ono requires a replacement performance if you want her freed up for the party. And don't even daydream about returning until you do. Dang. Okay. All right. Now we just have to find some singers and uh, convince them to do this. You listen to more modern day pop garbage than I do, so maybe you should take the lead. Yeah, makes sense. Let's find some musicalists. I really do not care if um we find somebody and they get switched with Linda. Everybody down here is here for a reason. Us, we don't really know what we're here for. But um, I mean like ten thousand years, I and mean, you're gonna be here for eternity. So and they can leave. So what? Unless it restarts for whenever you get here. Let's talk to this person. Famous for his playing two guitars at the same time style, the Grand Duke of Hell, Astaroth, grew to musical prominence in the late 1970s before retiring as a train conductor. Okay. Pretty like low life down here because of these demons. I don't know what it was like for the first human who just showed up to hell. I swear they was probably hyperactive around. Alright, let's go tell Linda what's up. Hey Linda. Hey, what's up? You wouldn't screw us over, right? No any performers? Uh contract negotiations are in process, as I say. You wouldn't happen to know any performers that would be free tonight, would you? To take my place, I'm guessing? No. no. Most musicians have their own managers, otherwise known as brokers. They treat us like dog show poodles. I couldn't imagine one being given up unless they got worms or something. Okay. I mean, like, everybody's treated bad down here. Come on, we got yelled at all the time just for asking a question and cutting off the demon by accident. Yo, 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 I feel like we really fucked that up. Yo, yo, I know. Maybe we'll get another chance someday to really impress her. Yeah, we want to cut them off. I feel bad. Then. Greetings and salutations, my classic '80s hip hop enthusiasts. You want to be our manager? We're trying to get Ono to take us on. So, no offense, but we'd rather keep trying with her. Yeah. We're here to offer you another opportunity to ascend to the musical heights I know you're capable of. A gig? Want to play for Ono tonight? It's a one-time thing, but it's real. Holy shit! Hold up, wait, no, what, what is this for? Are we getting paid? Um, <laughs> um, no, actually, you'd be doing it kind of as a favor to Linda Landon. But it's also a great opportunity to try out for Ono again. And Ono specifically requested us? Mm, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so like, it's hell. No matter what I say, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep using that card. I do not care for these souls right here, for these people and this one demon. Like, if a demon get contracted and sold for ten thousand years, that's just his life, randomly she living said it again. It wouldn't be a show without uh, Butt House, Black House, Black House. Uh, I'm not really feeling wined and dined here. Yeah, we're gonna pass on the town fair job, fellas. Thanks. Shit. What? Not gonna do it. Yeah, we need to find some other sucker. I mean, you know, a uh, loser. Talk to who? Oh, those people. Can Sorry they even move? To, uh, uh, but I have to ask. Why are you trapped here like a glittering fish in a very depressing aquarium? Oh, a sample platter of reasons, really. I challenged Ono to a fiddle off. Lost. Because I forgot I don't know how to play the fiddle. I <laughs> sold my soul for a number one hit. Died of a chocolate overdose not ten days later. Uh, to be... Uh, to be fair, I ate that much chocolate because I was on a lot of heroin at the time. Uh, and I wanted to be the best guitar player in the world. Oh no, made it happen. And then I suffocated in a 52-person orgy. I'll be sure to, uh, check out your guys' stuff when I get my streaming person orgy. Back. Yeah, thanks for the nickel. Okay, we gotta... we gotta find somebody else. All these people is like, man, what's wrong with these people? If you make a deal with her, you die quick. How do you even make a deal with it? Nope, I don't care. Let's just find somebody out here. Oh, wait, ain't these people musicians? 
Why do we have to kick that thing away? Wait, no, they said nobody trashed. These people are probably garbage. We could talk to them, though. See what's about. What's going on over here? Well, if it isn't our friends, come to rub salt in the wound. Or do you want to kick poor Longinus into the river next? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we came to apologize. We feel terribly about Lola kicking that thing you wanted into that river of death. Yeah, to make up for it, we booked you a show. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I... we're flattered. The answer is no. Don't be rude, Longinus. Let's hear them out. I don't want to hear them out. You know what they're going to say. Oh, I know what they're going to say. Even Althalos knows what they're going to say. Please, pretty please, pretty pretty please, with sugar on top, it'll help you out. You must be getting tired of singing aboard tourists. To be perfectly honest, we could use the exposure. Food traffic slowed down ever since they moved the taco hut. <sighs> I guess you're right. How long have they been here? Please try better at the show. Um, yep. Yep, that is what you guys sound like. Uh, thanks for the refresher. We'll meet you in the basement of the Hurdy Gurdy when we're ready. It's Ono's show, and she wants to see a sampling first. No worries, we'll uh, manage. Okay. Um, so it's like, is that like their personal deem or something? I'm just wondering. I'm confused all right let's actually before we go in there let's keep looking actually these people are garbage literal garbage we're just trying to find somebody you can't scatter across hell looking for one musician and especially how the managers are you get treated like literal garbage and actually i just remember how far the walk is over here wait can we run what do you got Oh, we can't. I'd just be playing a bunch of different games. Wow. Can't even run. <sighs> go inside. Let's go. We found three very garbage people that I do not care for. Let's say don't come back yet. Oh, wait. No. Well, we found people. So let's go back down there. Those people are not sitting there anymore. I wonder if they're trying to perform again. We just told a bunch of people about it and they just all show up at the same time. Downstairs we go. Uh, right. Welcome for the 8th. Oh, no, the 7th. Of August? It's the dry period. No, not the month, the 8th circle. Seventh. Seventh circle. I kind of don't want to cut her off. I keep saying we should switch to a day calendar. The system you have is... And tell him the next time he comes alley-catting around yowling for a higher percentage that I will personally... Well, not personally. Actually, I'm just come we, off. Uh, we found people to, uh, to play tonight. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Uh, the, the chanters outside. Bizarre. Where's the third one? Wait, we're still in the fucking stocks? You picked these guys? That's what they I'm saying. Them. They're Have still in there? Performance ready. Well, it would really help if we could move our necks. It was short notice. You're lucky we found two warm bodies out there. Well, warm might be stretching it. Yeah, I don't know about this. Maybe with some uh, taxi dancers. I mean, this it, it needs some elasticity to it. Dancers. This isn't Studio 54. I wish it was Studio 54. If you can't sing, Valak, you dance. If you can't dance, you set things on fire. That's the rule of rock and roll. And no one is going to watch monastic hermits moan like castrated jockeys. <laughs> unless things are humping each other in the background while they do it. So, Milo and Lola, want to stand in for me? Whoa! Wait, what? Oh no, we know Wait, about to get what, caught in this contract. What's happening right now? You're gonna dance while your chosen artists perform. But just Shadow Valak, he'll show you what to do. I just need to see it in a group, you know. Of course, you couldn't have asked me to do this when I was still jogging. Valak here has been wanting to dance on the Buddy Dean show since he was in Pigtails. He choreographs most of the numbers that come through here. Buddy Dean couldn't handle me, honey. You two, it'll be easy. Just follow the moves as I go along. Oh no, I'm terrible at all and this. And don't deviate. 
I what didn't if we suck? Study La Sonnambula in college for nothing. Uh, but what, what if we suck? Would you uh, not let them perform? Depends on how much suckage we're talking about. It'll be all right, Milo. Just like the, the, the talent show we talked about. You in sixth grade? Oh, you mean the one you couldn't even say anything about because you were so embarrassed by the memory of it. Wait, 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 wait. Don't start the show without me. Oh, no. I love live dancing. Are you guys going to show Bush or is it just tits up? Oh, my God. Will you fuck off, Wormhorn? We don't need this shit right now. Are you sure you want to do this? Lola's right. I mean, Milo, do you really remember the sixth grade talent show? That didn't turn out so well, did it? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Lil Chad Leckler beat you up so bad you had to take off school. Wait, Milo, you said you got the flu. Honestly, he was throwing up so much, it's not that big of a lie. Lola, I'm sorry. Wormhorn's right. I can't do this. You should take the lead here. I'll just uh, tap my foot behind you. Wait, don't listen to it, Milo. It's not... It's simple. Just move like I move. Yeah, our personal Whatever, demons guys, came out come on, come on. My bones are falling asleep here. Let's uh, get this show on the freeway. Play the music. Do I really gotta dance to this? What am I supposed to do? I'll tap the button. It says press. What's going on here? <laughs> I was supposed to remember it. Yeah. All right, come on. Wait, how many times was that? Be good, be bad. It's more fun for me. Okay, whatever. Uh huh. Yeah, you like that. You think you're doing well, but you're like just not. Is that right? It was right. Ugh, okay. That was four times. Lauren, come on, make it interesting. Come on. You're worse than I thought you'd be. Dang it, I messed up. This is last. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Why are we still playing? <laughs> yeah. Oof. I knew I should have stopped playing basketball at the Y. Very nice. I can, I can see it. I really can. With professionals, it'll really distract from the horrifying music. Thanks. She wasn't talking about you. So, Bisono. What did you think? I never even heard them. He sucked. Oh god. Whatever. Now that that bit of unpleasantness is in our rear view, I'll let you unfurl the banners. Tell Linda she's free for the evening. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Valak will riddle out the details. I imagine you'll be going to Morning Stars now. Uh, Satan's, yeah. Ah, yes, to try to outdrink him, get back home. Do you think you'll be able to do it? The two of you. Even if I had uh, misgivings, we have to try. It's the only way out we've heard of uh, so far. Lucifer was the first rock star. You know, before Liz, before Paganini, before that caveman that played a dinosaur's rib cage like a xylophone. It was him. And notoriety makes you forget things. Responsibilities to yourself and others. And look, he has bigger things to worry about tonight than a drinking contest. Like what? That's someone. Responsibilities like what? It's just every human creature carries microscopic mites. Mites that live full, hectic, provocative lives. They fall in love, have children, die tragically. And I say this not to make you itch. I say this so that when you see rock stars and movie stars and people with jets... When you meet me, Satan, remember that you are all planets responsible for a billion souls. And so is he. And what else could be more important than that? Say hi to Linda for me. We'll be in touch. That was kind of nice. Thanks for uh, being the, uh, the lead back there. I just 
You know, I really should just stay in my lane. You can do this stuff, Milo, all right? The sixth grade was a long time ago. You're cooler than you were, no matter what that librarian told you. Now let's give Linda the good news and get her damn invite. Okay. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. I killed that, y'all. Y'all cannot lie. At first, I was like, oh, we're just about to fail this again. We failed the ping pong thing, the basketball thing. That was a lot. Let's tell her, Linda. We gotta go, Linda. Well, if it isn't my favorite fans again. We are not fans. Vickers blowing up about the reunion. Apparently, they all just arrived. It's funny. I was thinking maybe there'd be a chance Hedgy Jane Myers would end up, you know, north. She was running some fucking Save the Giraffes PSA campaign last I saw. Anyways, how'd the search for a last minute understudy go? Seeing as how this is hell. It probably didn't go so well. We got you an, an awesome replacement band, really. It's these these uh, monks. They chant. And they can't move either. So, yeah. Monks. Well, we don't know that exactly, but we do know that they'll be singing for you tonight. You're off the hook. Huh. I'm surprised. And it's hard to surprise someone who gets leeches put in her coffee every morning. Come wow. on. Walk me to the cap stand. I have to say, I thought this was going to be like baking cookies. You plan on making these perfect little Christmas trees and they come out looking like somebody's father issues. But you guys really pulled it off. And, uh, I'm a little embarrassed to say my elbows are sweating at the thought of meeting my old bandmates. Those bastards have gone on so long without me. I'm not sure they'll remember this damned old woman. Well, I mean, they did sound like jerks. Maybe set expectations to work reunion or even divorce counseling. It's just, we were like best friends, you know? And they did kind of screw me over, but I kind of screwed them too. How'd we get out? By uh, hogging the attention? Yeah, well, that. And by embezzling album profits. But be that as it may, I just hope we can remember why we became friends in the first place. Can we leave now? Okay, yeah, we can leave now. Just have to talk to her, get to know her, and then she gonna trick us, and then it's gonna make it seem like, oh, we were friends, we was really talking. Why do you those three monks get stuck in place? It doesn't really matter to me, because, I mean, like, I don't care for them. <laughs> I just hope they don't the say nothing while I'm walking by. Bobby Francis, we got in a fight over what to name our tour van stuffed monkey mascot. I told him, his name is Rico, or I'll see you in hell. <laughs> You think he'll remember? Milo, Bobby couldn't remember his daughter's name while we were on tour. No, he will not remember. Dang. <laughs> Friendships that long are like a marriage. Sometimes you just want to boil a person's face off and shoot the EMTs as they come, but well, dying alone is just too scary to even entertain the alternative. Everyone dies alone. I'll take your word for it. Well. We can't remember dying, so I guess I'll take your word for it. Whether you remember isn't the important part. You're not dead until there's nobody left that remembers you. That's why everybody wants to be famous. Okay, that's true. Dang. Oh, I mean, like, there was a whole movie about that, so... No, I didn't. Why would you say that? Uh, you know what? I don't know. Just popped into my head. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. There's a demonic saying. The longer in hell, the more you are, you are. It means... Eh, who gives a fuck what it means? Let's just get out of here. It's probably gonna be like a longer video than usual because like I'm a little behind in this game. Don't forget to subscribe, then we'll hit the like button if you like what's going on so far. I'm not talking that much, it's because like... They usually talk over me, and they be saying some important stuff here and there, and I don't want to talk over them. So I just kind of let them chat. You know, just let my TV talk to me, and I respond. <laughs> oh man, this walk is so long. I feel like we're getting close. I'm just about to pull out my phone, though. I did it. Thick. 
Okay, we can call the taxi now. Yeah. Hey, uh, thanks a lot for this. Uh, just give the door gal my name. See you in there. Rock and roll. She not coming with us? Awesome. Oh, she's taking a different taxi. We are awesome. awesome. Yeah. Okay. So we should just go to Satan's then, right? Like, hey, what's up? Let's just uh, let's drink you down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's just uh, like a band aid. Quick and easy. Right off. Right off. Taxi. Run in the taxi. Roll the window up. Roll the window down. Why are you here? Before you go, it's time for your review. What? What? Or a psychological assessment, or bumblefeed personality quiz. You know, whatever you want to call it. First of all, you intentionally chose to be a drink mule for somebody named Linda, of all things. Instead of aiding that poor little demon who needed help apprehending a dangerous homo sapien. Either you thought that. this sounded more fun, or Lola likes just blindly following my around. Which, either way. I mean, getting a vodka soda for someone does sound simpler. Hey, bug nut, the plan worked. We're, we're going to Satan's party. All right, all right, all right. So you needed to find a band to fill Linda's slot. Which saps did you enlist? Oh, wait, I was there, so I already know. It was the Chanters. Why the fuck did you pick these guys? Who else you was there? You know Ono sobers up? She's going to realize you traded three-day-old copy for Colonel Bracknell. I mean, have you heard their singing? I, I don't know if you have a, a hearing disability, but <laughs> they're not good. Hey, Ono made the deal herself, okay? I'm not gonna feel sorry that we swindled the, the demon that invented swindling or whatever. Uh, I guess we'll see if you can maintain your apathy when she circles the wagon back for a renegotiation. Okay, factoid time! Thought you might want to know what's going on in the land of the living. So, while you were busy accomplishing this very important mission, instead of, you know, getting your ass off the fucking couch and contributing to society in any sort of meaningful way, one Vlado Gavajic lost his hand in a factory farm accident in Lenawee County, Michigan. Due to lax regulations, his meat will be served along with the other 93,000 cows slaughtered to death. <sighs> really? 136 murders were committed that will never be solved. 28 of these will cause their assigned detectives to verbally abuse their spouses tonight. Wormhorn. And, of course... Ah, uh, wait, sorry. Those are out of order. Wormhorn. <laughs> Lola won that dancing thing on her first try, you giant-ass dork. <laughs> Who the hell is good at this stupid shit? Get a life! Why are you doing this? Get us out of here, Wormhorn. We need to get on with our night before we're stuck here forever. So... <sighs> Fine. Whatever. I'll text you. I'll talk to you later. This demon is terrible at their job. I'm not even gonna question that right there. Hey, someone order a ferry? Had to go with Miss Landon. We uh, did it! I guess. We got the invite, so... Yay. What a long face personal demon dragging you down. Listen, just remember, those things are like car sickness. Just keep your eyes on the horizon. It'll go away on its own. And sometimes you just need to deal with it to get to the mall, you know? Anyways, did you get the invitation? We did, actually. Get the fuck out of here. A whole VIP cut the entire line invitation for an already free drink? What did she really want? We had to uh, find a band to play her time slot. What band? Don't even worry about it. It wasn't three ill-begotten chanters, was it? You're psychic. You're psychic. Vicar. Oh. Anyways, I imagine you'll be wanting to go to Satan's now, right? I was about to say, I thought something I bad happened when she guessed it. Yeah. Uh huh. Let's go there. I can't. I struggled to figure out how to go there when there's a button that literally says go. Welcome way. All right. Your request is my uh, my my thing that you do when requested of something. It's five Let's thirty-nine. Go. I have not ate none today. I hope you guys are eating something. You guys need to eat something at the beginning of all my videos. Y'all know my videos is always over like 27 minutes. And if it's not, 
It's one of those videos. Cut off again. Fuck. This should be one of your favorite days, I think. A camel hair better, at least, than bottomless fries Friday. VIP invitation to Sane's house party. That's, uh... You guys are doing... You're doing well. You're doing good. I just lag not doing good. Noise makers, so hopefully the ride and my genuine amazement will suffice. Day, I mean, we couldn't have done it without your help, Sam. You were the steed to our to our gallant knights. Yeah, and a word of advice: if you make it back topside, maybe don't talk like that at your first job. Oh yeah, when we get back, we'll be like adults. Oh, a little nervous about rolling over from Miss and Mister to Ma'am and Sir. And uh, depending on your income level, either having to read train schedules or caring about the estate tax. No, it's it's not it's not leaving school so much as Milo and I have known each other forever. Yeah, like genuinely forever. We got paired up in preschool because we were the last picked in a buddy system. And while Milo stayed in town to help his mom in her magic shop. Lola's moving across the country to live with her dad. Sounds like you guys are just erupting with excitement over all the new opportunities afforded by your continued cellular reproduction. Celtic. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. definitely. Absolutely. Without a doubt. So, completely switching topics. Satan's party, huh? Very <laughs> exciting. Top shelf. Roman Coliseum, Yang Zoo on opium. Mother, don't look at these pictures. The way the Ouija boards and voodoo dolls, kids. Is anyone that be answering is too busy getting their nipples twisted. What the hell? How about another dollop of helpful advice? This time actually solicited. Milo, Christ, you don't need advice for how to party. You sound like Sun Sirdosh. Oh, but if I can't see, will anyone talk to me? Just use your hands and feel around until you get the vodka. Thanks, that's uh helpful. Happy to be of service. Okay. Um do we really have to take the elevator right, candle again? Flies. Have fun. You know, enjoy yourselves. Thanks. And uh, before you scamper off, two things, okay? One. Sam, sorry. Are you are you on tonight? Are you? Where are you headed? Six circle. Lucifer didn't show up for the inspection last week, and now I gotta make sure the stone coffins are being heated properly. Like I don't have enough poop to worry about. Yeah, seems like it's a death style now. Wait, Satan didn't show up for work? Wider ganger, sweat cooker of infidels, this is Milo and Lula. Recently deceased. Yeah, congratulations. I'm foreman down at the coffin mine. Oh, the congratulations. And no, he didn't. Even though we had the appointment at 11, so he could sleep in. Anyways, can you help me out? I know it's out of the way. Now I'll give you a ride. Great, thanks. I'd swim, but the lava Wait. starts hurting if you're in it for too long. Wait, Sam, what were your two things, uh, two pieces of advice? Was I gonna give you two? That seemed excessive. How about one? I'll give you one. Do you want to hear the first thing I was gonna say, or the second? Ah, uh, sorry. We just ran out of time for both. That's this washing bear. Uh, the second? Don't be intimidated by Morningstar. Satan? He's tall. He's had kings and queens commit atrocities in his name. And you can thank him for the Hurricanes winning the Stanley Cup in 06. But at the end of the day, He's still just a boy. With worries. Why does um, she talk to him about it like that? Text me if you need to ride somewhere. Bro, she must have had a relationship with Satan or something. It just seems like it by the way she talks to him. Why? Uh, what do you think Sam meant by that? He's just a boy, a boy with, with worries. worries. Yeah. It's a weird thing to say, right? Like, he's probably not just a boy with worries. She's just saying he's probably, like, insecure about something, you know? Like, like everyone has something they're worried about, and it doesn't matter how rich or powerful they are. Oh, like that guy in a nice suit I saw crying on the street after he dropped his taco. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he has his problems. I hope these people don't be mean to you. Hustle and bustle and head straight to Lucifer's. Yes. I'll take the one. So Satan's, please. Satan's, please. Alrighty. Don't, don't hit, hit your head there. Great, good. You're doing so well. Hey, I'm sorry we don't gotta do that thing again. Just randomly. Everybody getting so aggressive and mean. But here we are. We get to skip everybody. VIP, baby! You don't know until you see it.
It's far, but it's dark. There's Mishka for you. you know, Invitations, but... please? Certainly. I think you'll find our names in Wilcaw. My name is Milo. I'm with Linda Landon, the famous acid jazz instrumentalist and musical transformationalist. Maybe you've... Next. And I'm uh, Lola. We're both with the uh, musical transformationalist. Okay, move along. There's party favors in back, but don't open his fridge. We did, we did it. it! I guess all that's left is for us to uh, enter the party. Yes, entering the Lord of Darkness's party is what we are here to do, and what we will do. Why I'm so awkward. a little nervous. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're here for a thing, and we're gonna do the thing. Yes, exactly. And we'll be fine, so... After you. Can we go? Alright, we can go inside now. Well, let's figure out what Satan looks like, because now <laughs> Whoa, okay. This Was this a trick? This can't be right. Uh, hello? Anyone here? Is this Satan's house where the where the party's at? Not you again. Are we getting tortured? Is she did our personal demon clock in? This is how the party starts. She's like, oh, it's a prank Okay. It's my house. Milo. Uh, I swear to God, it's breached the home of Jean, Barbara, and Milo. Please leave a message with a name and number, and we'll get back to you when we can. Man alive, Milo. Your old man sounds very, very serious. Okay, Sister Mary Worm, asshole. Ha ha. This is my old kitchen. Great. I get it. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. Your memory was a little fuzzy. So I had to cobble parts of it together from Marshall Field's display set circa 1992. Oh, bravo. It's highly accurate. Okay. Lights? No, the other lights. She must have clocked in. Golly gee, it's a regular old nuclear family with two and a half kids. Minus two of them. Now when you hear the beep, we all say our names and that's it. Oh, fine. Wait, who cares about... Shh, 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 shh. Hey, you've reached G. Barbara, and I'm Marty the Magnificent. Stop. Say your real name. So you wanted to be called Marty the Magnificent when you were like Marty six. Marty oh, and Duke for a week there. Uh, there was the summer of Charlie. Yeah, so what? It took a while for me to get used to to like Milo. Okay. This is the seventh try. Oh, he's his mother's son. He's as flighty as she. You realize this kind of stuff is going to keep you from making friends, right? You have to be comfortable being yourself, not pretending to be something you're not. But Marty the Magnificent is who I want to be, and Lola's my friend. Lola's a girl. A girl can't be your friend. Do you understand the difference? And see. It is a complicated relationship, okay, Mary? What do you want from me? It wasn't some TV show version of... Whatever. He's it's not a big he's deal. It wasn't perfect. Really? So his dad's a little old-fashioned. It's harsh, but he sort of saved you a bit from getting made fun of. Yeah, and he did it by making fun of me himself. Great trade-off. This is all extremely obvious psychobabble bullshit, Wormhorn. So I don't see eye to eye with my father. That's like a rule hardwired into every. I know why Milo and his father don't get along. Hamsters get into arguments over the last piece of chicken. Maybe, or maybe he regretted getting you in the divorce instead of his daughter. Because she's a proper lady, and you, Milo, are many things, but a proper man isn't one of them. Fuck off. Shut up, Wormhorn. Uh, I'd be scared to talk to my personal demon like that. Lola, where? I don't care if you're scared. We drove all this way because you wanted to see the carnival. But we're here now, and you're gonna hit the damn target. Throw the ball and dunk the clown. We're not leaving until you do. Dunk me, Milo! Dunk me! Throw the ball! Throw it and dunk me! Is this supposed to- this is terrible aiming. Damn. Christ! Lean in! Move closer! Okay. Oh, you just lay off? I'm trying. Don't embarrass your family in front of all these people! Aim up a little bit higher. Son, come on. 
This isn't how I taught you. Throw from the shoulder. Follow through. You know what? Screw this. I don't care what you think. I really don't. Ah. And screw you, Wormhorn. My dad, he's not the best. But he's not this total fucking monster you make him out to be. And also, give the guy a damn break. He works like a dog and doesn't speak English that well. Oh, you know, I was gonna try that, but it was super racist sounding. And, you know, <laughs> there are limits. Milo? Oh, yeah. you? Lola, sweetie, your guy's in here. Milo, Jesus! Who are you talking to? I thought maybe I heard somebody else. Oh, just my personal demon sister, Mary Wormhorn. Yeah, no, I know what those are like. Milo, oh god, I'm so sorry. I turned around and it was, uh, I saw a witch doing a keg stand and god, I didn't know where you were. Are you doing okay? Okay. It's fine, I handled it. <sighs> no, it's, it's fine, I handled yeah, it. Yeah, you, uh, you look, you look good. Where's the booze? This party so has awesome. everything! Have a ceiling Don't in take here. it from me, Milo. The best way to combat your personal demons is just to drink until you can't remember your ex-husband's foot hair. Which is why you'll notice my fuzzy navel is only half full. And it's my fourth in an hour. You know what? Right now, that... That sounds like perfect advice. Milo, no. Come on, Linda. You're gonna meet up with Mercury Worm, right? I did meet up with Mercury Worm. I told Jane I fucked her brother, and she said she was glad I lost the baby. What? I thought you wanted to, like, smooth things over, be a pr proactive with your... Spare me the therapy camp verbs. We hate each other, and always will. The end. No postscript. Dang. Look, you're the closest things to friendly I've seen since I've got here, so I'll give you some advice. Be a coward. Do what's easy. Live a lie. There's no honor in taking the hard road. And if you don't believe me, look around. There's a lot of kamikaze pilots down here. Oh, whoa. Well, that sucked. I mean, I thought she was gonna, like, I don't know. She, she seems... Sad. I don't know. She just seems sad. Hey, dick for brains. I'm trying to mac daddy on my home skilled here, and you accidentally touched me. That gives me legal party rights to pound you into indiscriminate ash. Hey, he was just trying to get by. We well, should have tried harder. Uh, we're just, just looking for, uh, uh. Hey, so I couldn't remember if you folks wanted Dr. Tibbles, Vicoco, or Omen Set of Eight. So I just mixed them both together. Oh, hi, Hightower. You wouldn't be attempting to intimidate Messrs. Sangbong and Lola Wolf at my carousal, would you? Because that kind of behavior doesn't really structure well with the pack mentality I'm trying to delicately maintain. No, 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 no. You're angel of darkness. Whoa, okay. <laughs> this man just came in here and intimidated the fuck out of this world. Whoa, okay. Um, I played a lot of games that had the devil in it, and I wasn't expecting him to look like this. I'll be out on the back patio. I got a terrific stock guy I want you to meet. <laughs> so, that's... That's Satan. Uh, what do I look like? A dictionary? Damn. Okay, so uh, first impressions. Tall. He knows our names, which I don't like. Also, he smells like a burning courthouse. I thought it was more like a hospital basement. <sighs> How are we gonna do this? You know, you hear you gotta outdrink Satan a bunch of times, and it sort of just becomes something you think you can Let's do. Try not to worry. Don't worry so much, Lola, okay? It's, it's been done before, right? Right? I'm sorry, but I have this ringing in my ears. It, it sounds like my old math teacher crying. It's been done before? Twice before? All right. So it's like saying I can cut my own hair. <sighs> Let's just talk to him. He seemed reasonable enough. We still think it's it a mistake that we're here, right? Right? Um, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yes, exactly. I also think that. So now we'll just explain our situation and he'll let us go back. Like when I left my socks on the Universal Studios tour ride. He didn't let you do the tour again, Lola. It's fine. He's not... It's fine. Just let me do all the talking with him. Like when I talked that sock salesman into giving me a discount on my rebought socks. Yeah, um, you can lead. I'll just, uh, jump in if... God, Milo, I'm not, I'm not gonna blank out. Okay. Only a complete fucking idiot wouldn't be able to respond in time to the allotted gaps of silence given in an average conversation. Wow, they just called us out like that, if you guys didn't notice. Um... 
all right well like i was about to say we're going to figure out how it goes in the next video where we've already hit 70 minutes of 70 minutes of this um don't forget to subscribe hit the like button leave a comment if you want more can't wait to figure out one how we died two why we're here how our life actually was because i'm you know how hard it is to not because i i watch youtube constantly i can honestly just search up the ending and it's like but I want to explore it with you guys, and I hope you guys do too, because you guys could also do the same. So we're going to figure it out. Um, if you guys get to feel enough likes, I can, I, I can make another video tomorrow on it. It will be a while because I'm doing something tomorrow. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment if you want more.